Hey guys, Miss Kessel here to do uh, my daily story read. Um, I actually went to the school and I picked out some lobster books from our Readwell curriculum because uh, your first bingo packages had to do with L. L says, oh, lobster in a lighthouse. Oh, oh, oh. So why not start reading about lobsters? So our first story is Lobster's Secret by Kathleen M. Hollenbeck, illustrated by John Wyman. And here we go. The last rays of sun stretched across the rippling sea. A faded red buoy bobs lazily in the water. Seagulls call out overhead. Now and then they lunge down to catch fish for their supper. Some have already found rest on the rocky main shore. Darkness falls on this late summer night. On the surface, the ocean seems peaceful and ready for rest. Yet, deep in the darkness below, creatures of the night begin to stir. Crabs crawl out of hiding and scuttle across the ocean floor. Sea urchins scrape algae from rocks. Schools of codfish swim past in search of food. Meanwhile, two slender pairs of antennae probe slowly up and down, up and down. Tightly wedged in a hole between two rocks, Lobster waves his shortest antenna to learn if dinner or danger is near. His antennae senses chemicals in the water from a tasty meal nearby. Hungry, Lobster crawls out of his hole. Without warning, a codfish darts out of the blackness. Lobster pulls back into his den. He struggles, trying to fit his giant claws inside. As Lobster disappears, the codfish lunges. So here we go. The antenna is the part of the lobster that is their feelers. So if you go like this with your fingers, you can do little antennas on yourself. Sharp teeth gnashing, the codfish squeezes into lobster's home. Lobster presses against the rocks that have formed in his den, snapping his claws as the intruder and, and he's ready to fight. As the codfish closes in, the rocks fall away from behind Lobster. He backs out into the open sea and away from his enemy. Close call that Lobster got away. Look at his claws. See? It says that Lobster snapped his claws at the fish. Pretend your hands are claws and snap at the fish. Still hungry, Lobster prowls for food. Again, his antenna senses food. Antennas waving, Lobster follows the trail. On four pairs of legs, he walks across the ocean floor. His tiny eyes sway at the end of tall stalks. They see only shadows. Lobster feels mud, rocks, and plants with his claws, legs, and longest antennae. Tiny hairs line these body parts, touching and tasting lobster's world. So once again, he uses that antennae to sense danger and to find food. On a bed of pebbles, lobster finds his prey. A red rock crab raises its claw, perched and ready for battle. Lobster seizes the crab in his largest claw, the crusher claw. So the largest one is called the Crusher Claw. Boldly, the crab swings into its claws, trying to break free. But the crab's tiny claws are no match for the lobster's mighty ones. In one deadly swipe, lobster tears off his claws and the sharp teeth of his own pincher. Then he carries the crab back to his den. So what did the lobster eat? A crab, right? And what claw did he use to catch it? Crusher claw. After eating the crab, 
lobster rests. He will need strength for the change that will soon take place. It is time for the lobster to molt. Snakes molt too, so lobsters molt. He will cast off his old shell and grow a new one. As lobster molts, the back of his hard shell splits down the center. Lobster rolls onto his side and bends his body in half. And little by little, he pulls his body out of the cracked shell. Interesting. So he's molting. Outside the shell, lobster is soft, wrinkled, and small. At once, he begins to drink water from the sea. He draws more water into his body through his gills. Lobster swells with water until his body is larger than before. A soft new shell has already started to form. So after lobster molted, what did he begin growing? A new shell. It will take weeks for lobster's new shell to harden. Lobster helps by eating his old shell. It is rich with minerals. The new shell needs to get very strong. Lobster rests in the safety of his den. He must hide from his enemies. His new shell is too soft to protect him. After several days, lobster's shell is still soft, but now it looks hard and strong. Enemies will not know his secret, so he ventures out of the den. So he stays in his cave when he's starting to grow his new shell. But is it hard yet? No, it just looks hard. But his enemies doesn't know that, right? That is a lobster secret. Hungry, lobster walks across the ocean floor. His antenna led him to a large wooden cage, a lobster trap. The food he senses is the bait inside. Lobster climbs onto the netting at one end of the trap. What do you think is going to happen to the lobster? Just then, lobster brushes against a starfish tangled in the netting. He grabs it with his crusher claws. Unable to free the starfish, lobster rips it apart with his pincher and passes the food to his walking legs. Lobster holds the fresh food with his legs and brings it to his mouth. There at the edge of the trap, lobster eats his find. So at first he ate a crab, but where did what did he just eat in this page? Starfish. Did he get trapped? His antennae still senses the tasty bait. But Lobster is satisfied. He steps back onto the ocean floor. Suddenly, a sculptin lunges at him. Lobster jumps up, thrusts his antenna back over his head, and draws his walking legs in towards his body. Rapid flexing, rapidly flexing his tail, he speeds backwards through the water. Lobster's eyes face backwards as he races. They help him find a hole amongst the boulders and he slips in easily. Snapping his claws fiercely, Lobster warns the sculptin to stay away. So the problem is, is that the fish wants to eat him. But how does he escape? It's a powerful tail. But the only way he can go fast is to have help it propel him backwards. So lobsters swim fastly backwards. The sculptin gives up and lobster is alone. Tired, he wedges himself further inside the small hole. Drawing his claws close to his body, lobster rests. Soon night ends at the ocean floor. Crabs, codfish, and other night creatures rest in the shelter of rocks or plants. Safe in his hideaway, lobster waits for night to come again. In a few weeks, lobster's shell will be truly hard and strong, but for now his secret must be kept safe from his enemies until he is once again 
a fierce and sturdy creature of the sea. The end. So the lobster secret is what? That was a soft shell, right? It's going to take them weeks for that shell to get hard again. So I'm going to read another lobster story for you on Monday. Also, I will see you Monday. Uh, on that note, have a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about L is for lobster. Bye.